they are more precious than gold. The gifts that you gave me are too good for one heart to hold. Oh, your love, it fills me up, and then it overflows. True temperance, boys and girls, are we? Hi, guys, it's Auntie Linda, and today we're talking about temperance. Did you know that fruits, vegetables, and water can be bad for you? Well, they can, if you have too much of them. When we use the word temperance, we're talking about using the right amount of something or doing enough of something, but not too much. The word also means staying away from anything that is bad for you, like smoking or drinking alcohol. I read about jellyfish in the Amazing Health magazine. The author talks about how amazing it is that jellyfish are living at all because they have no heart, no blood, no gills, no bones or cartilage. Jellyfish move up and down by using special muscles to draw water into the belly and then push it out again. Yet, they have no choice about where they're going. They are basically carried about whichever way the wind and water currents move. But unlike jellyfish, God gave you boys and girls a brain and the power of choice. Use that power to balance your life. Another author, Miki Skiba, explains to children and adolescents why temperance is important. She says, temperance helps you balance what your body needs without having too much or too little of it. For example, food is good. It helps keep you alive and healthy. But if you eat too much, you can become sick. 
exercise is good. If you exercise too much, you could hurt your body. Sleep is good. You need it for your body to rest. But if you constantly oversleep, it prevents you from beginning your tasks for the day and doing what God wants you to do. It can make you lazy. Think of a thermostat. If you set it too far on one end, it will be too hot. If it's too far in the other direction, it will be too cold. It's important to find that balance between too much and too little. You might be asking, just how will Jesus help me be temperate? So let me share a number of ways. Number one, Jesus may help you be temperate by helping you learn and commit to the words of the song, True temperance boys and girls are we, we're trying hard as hard can be to learn health habits in our youth, for it's a part of God's great truth. Number two, another way Jesus may help you is by placing people in your life, like your parents and your teachers, who know how important it is for you to spend time outside getting enough sunshine, fresh air, and exercise. Number three, Jesus may help you by surrounding you with friends that have good habits. No matter how Jesus chooses to help you on your temperance journey, one thing is sure, and that is that you have extra support from another member of the God team. He's God, the Holy Spirit, and he's always nearby to remind you of what is right and wrong and give guidance in balancing your life because sometimes people forget. Isn't that great? You have God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit all supporting you. Since we've got all that support, let's start some new habits right now. Dear Father, thank you for giving me all the support I need to be balanced. Please remind me every day that I'm not a jellyfish and I have the brain power to make good choices. I choose to be a temperate girl. In Jesus' name, amen.